It's been about six or seven years now since I built the pond in the back garden. Um, since then, we've done a number of different things. We've had uh, a new kitchen, a rear extension, etc. The decking's been done a couple of times, but we want to make the garden nice. Um, we put a nice fresh lawn down, and then we got a dog, and then it's terrible again. So this is what we want our garden to look like. Um, the pond's already there. The decking area, the first portion of the decking area is already there. Uh, the fences are there, the walls there. What we don't have is the color of the deck and we want. We don't have the rattan furniture there. We don't have the pergola uh, with the perspex or acrylic glass on top of it. So there's a number of things we need to break this down into to actually achieve what we're looking at here. The pond's already there. Um, the pond has a brown pergola over it, which I've just taken down because it's rotted. So the theme here is to try and go silver and white, grey and white, whatever you want to call it. That's, that's the kind of colour combination because anything else um, in there is a bit overpowering. If we can go with a silver or grey and white base colour, the pergola is going to be white. Um, it's going to be supported by these beams and this extra long beam uh, which is going to be concrete into the floor there but if we can go with that color then anything else outside of that color like the cherries on the leaves the green leaves the grass everything's going to pop it's going to look really really nice and colorful without being too overpowering so looking at the pergola here this is um, going on to an existing structure you've got the roof battens coming down so this back plate and these beams are going to be bolted onto those roof battens. Um, then we're going to have the perspex or acrylic. I might need to put some strut bars in here somewhere. I don't know. Noggins they're called. Might have to put them in. I don't really want to if I can get away with it. But I've got to think about strong winds. Can it get under there? Is it going to rip the roof off? You know, Am I going to be kind of not only causing a danger but wasting money and, and cost of repairs etc. So... Uh, got to think about that, but uh, rattan furniture, we want a nice little corner unit in there, rattan furniture with a little, uh, uh, maybe a table or a footstool or something, I don't know. We're not going to have anything here. At the moment, we've got the barbecue there and some chairs. It's just all so cluttered. We just want a nice open space, which is nice. Now, you've got the trees already. I'm not going to remove these trees. Um, one is a cherry tree and the other, I don't know what it is, but it's... Um, it was something my parents bought me for our anniversary, bought us for our anniversary. So uh, they're going to have like a recesses cut out in, in room for growth. That decking is then going to drop down onto a kind of ground level type deck in which you can go around the back of the pond. Um, and the, the door again is going to be in the silver theme, uh, the grey silver theme. That's all going to be redone. I'm redoing that as we speak. Uh, with thicker um, polycarbonate. Also going to put some polycarbonate on top of the pagoda as well. Um, but I need to make a decent thickness of it because last time I put that on it was too thin and it got ripped off by the roof, by the wind. So uh, got to be careful with that. The barbecue, which used to be on the decking, is now going to be located here. Uh, and this is all to scale. This is going to be another little deck area here, which I need to put the uh, the lines in to, sh to show the direction of the boards and this here was the um, cycle storage unit which I built um, with the roof and everything on uh, I haven't put the front doors on yet I need to build the front doors for it and then maybe this will probably be the same color gray like a gray color maybe a darker light I don't know maybe a two-tone gray color um, so it doesn't I don't, I don't like the brown anymore I want to get rid of the brown um, then I need a nice little area here for a hydrania. I'm gonna, my mum's gonna kill me if I get that wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Uh, this and that bush over there uh, were the only two. This one here and 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 hydrania, the only two of I think it was four or five plants and shrubs that my parents bought us for our, our one of our wedding anniversaries. I think it was our fifth wedding anniversary. Uh, so I, I want to make sure that I, I keep both of those as well. Um, we've got a rose bush in the front already, which I located, relocated because my dog kept chewing it. Um, I want to bring that back and I want to get another one the other side. Uh, and I'm going to put like an acrylic or perspex glass barrier up here um, so that the dog doesn't keep jumping in there. I'm sure she'll jump in there one or twice, but once I tell her off, she'll. I'm, I'm sure she'll learn from it. 
So that will keep that out, hopefully. Um, and then the area we've got left here, uh, after all this, is going to be the grass. Now, I put a lovely new lawn down. It was beautiful. What am I doing? What's, what's going on here? Um, what have I done? Just click there and undo. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I put a lovely new uh, lawn down, a natural lawn. Um, rolls of turf etc and watered it all the time and everything and it was a bit it just got dug up by the dog after a while so you can see the width here is four meters now that is the width uh, that's the maximum width of a roll of artificial graft they come in four meter lengths by a 25 so it's four meters in width and it's eight and a half meters in length from the edge of the deck into the shed so that won't be a problem four times eight and a half we are looking at 1632 32 square meters maybe a little bit more say 37 square meters i think um the this door is a little and these windows are a little bit out of uh scowl they're a bit too big that shed is actually looking a lot smaller than it actually is um anyway so yeah the artificial grass is going to go down and basically uh yeah that's that's what it's going to look like and hopefully the dog won't be uh, it's going to be pet friendly artificial grass as well so uh, my dog's not going to be digging it up or you know it's not going to be stinking so much because of it weeing on it it's, it's the proper grass that you use for pets so anyway uh that's the that's the that's the deal we are going to be doing it as and when we can because it's going to cost a little bit of money to do it and we, we don't really want to throw all our money at this so as and when we can we'll, we'll do it we'll start off trying to do it from back to get rid of the mud uh we'll do this first and then we'll start building like the deck area and then the pagoda and everything after that so yeah so that's it um let's see how it progresses and uh thanks for watching keep tuned and we will see what happens